Hello you all, you already know what we about to get into. We about to get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. to know at this time. We have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Somebody is, um, somebody thinking about going on a journey to try to sneak away. Somebody trying to sneak away from the work that they've been doing. They've been working really hard on something and somebody been trying to do something sneaky. Yeah, this person... This person upset. This person trying to journey away from a lie. Somebody told a lie. Somebody did something sneaky and very underhanded. And whoever this is, they was warned not to do this. With this seven of swords to the seven of pentacles, they was warned. They was warned spiritually not to do whatever this was, but they kept on doing it, though. And now... Um, they're upset because they know for whatever it is, whatever they put in with this is going to cause some type of um, trauma or loss. Because this person was manifesting a separation. This person was trying to manifest somebody to separate from their work. From speaking out, from communicating, from delivering and offering communication so this person know that they was trying to separate someone from what they were committed to doing and they this was a plan that they've been doing for a long time <gasps> this king of cups here could be a pisces cancer scorpio yeah this person was causing a lot of past struggles and a lot a lot of ongoing battles right and because of this, this person, um, this person now is going through battles and struggles because of what they did, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And somebody else might end up being sick, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. They might end up in the hospital or something. This person could be some type of preacher or something. Um... For the action that they was taking. So these people mess with your work. Cause a lot of past struggles. But now these people are going through struggles. These people got battles that they have to face. There's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then what's in between these people is the Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords. What's in between this King of Cups and this King of Swords. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Taurus. These people are a part of some type of high society or some type of cult. Um, somebody could also be a spiritual teacher or some sort. So the signs between these two masculines are Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So what occurred is the divine stepped in because these individuals was trying to do something sneaky and underhanded and worked hard to manifest to separate you from your work and your communication and you speaking out about things. So the divine stepped in because whoever you is. The divine put you in this leadership to be a divine messenger, right? Div the divine gave you the skill, the ability, and put you in a leadership position to 
restore soul. See, you under the divine. You see, you're just even how this landed. You're up under the divine. And the divine had you go through a lot of darkness in order to get to the light, right? The divine restored your soul. You're connected to a higher power. And you hold a lot of knowledge and secrets. You are this higher fine, high priestess energy. A divine messenger. Your messages come from the divine. So you're just a messenger. A host, if you will. And you're in your higher calling. So judgment has been called on this karmic partnership that these two men have against you. These people try to oppress you. These people can have some type of partnership together and they try to oppress you. One of these people can have Capricorn in their chart as well. You have Sagittarius, Pisces, and Scorpio somewhere in your chart. But these people have a demonic, some type of demonic partnership, a karmic partnership. These people was trying to oppress you. They join forces to oppress you. Somebody could even want to negotiate something with you. Because these people are... Things is happening to them and things is going down because of who they was trying to block from communicating. When the divine put you in a position to communicate and share knowledge, you're led by the divine. You're heavenly taught. So the devil under judgment, you can call judgment on, on this karmic ass shit and this karmic ass behavior and partnerships. These people could even want you to partner up with them. Partner up with the devil. They want you to make a decision to partner up with them or something. Or they done made a decision and partnered up with a queen of pentacles or something. And um, they're going to meet a dead end with whoever that is. They, they could have partnered up with a witch. They gave a witch an opportunity or something. They've been given an opportunity to a queen of pentacles here. And that shit is like a dead end. Or whatever witch they was dealing with. Ten of swords. Or this person going to end up dead or at a dead end. Um, they could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. This person made a decision to ultimately betray you. This person thought they could take something from you. Excuse me. Because look, in this two of cups, see your partner, look, and look how this laying down though. The higher fit, the high priestess to the two of cups, you're in a higher form of partnership with the divine. And the divine getting victory over these devils. There is a a uh, uh, um, a empress under judgment too as well that was working and partnered up with these people because it was some type of negotiation going on like oh maybe if, if they can if this person can take your cup if this person can take what's yours because look you in this water Lighthouse in the background, you in this water. And here go your cup. And you see this person with their hand out to try to take that cup. This person partnered up with the devil to try to take your cup. But you're a goddess energy though. 
you called judgment on this individual. Judgment was called on this individual. You were actually rescued from whatever this was because this person wanted your vision. So this person thought that they can take the opportunity to take your vision, a witch. And that's why that witch is going to be in the Ten of Swords. You know what just ran across my head? The Wizard of Oz when that house dropped on that wicked witch. So that wicked witch is done. It's a wicked witch. This person could be a mother. This person did some type of traveling somewhere. They gonna meet the Ten of Swords. Because this was ultimate betrayal. This person tried to take your cup with the divine promised you. But you're the one with the connection to heaven. You're the one that the Supreme Ruler gave the gift to and they think that they can take it. I mean, these devils really think they buffed up. They think they powerful as fuck. <laughs> they really do. They thought, they thought they had the authority to get you to let go of your enlightenment. Yeah, they... <laughs> Comma, comedy. Fucking comedy. They thought they they could you they had you at a dead end, but your reward comes from the divine. You're spiritually guided. You have a connection between heaven and earth. These people were spiritually guided to retreat already. Now the shit all now shit happening to their ass. Cause they didn't want to retreat. They wanted your opportunities and your gifts that the that the supreme ruler gave you. But these also this also represents how these people thought that they was gonna have this bliss ultimately betraying you, doing spiritual shit to you, somebody a Virgo. And they thought that they was gonna get handed your opportunities and gifts that the supreme ruler gave you. And that you was going to let it go and walk away. Please. So. This is what this was. They wanted you to let go of what the Supreme Ruler gave you. This is all this is ultimate betrayal. Wanted you to let go of your enlightenment. A tyrant. Let go of your enlightenment. What you got, what you were eternally connected to. I'm telling you, they wouldn't, they thought you was going to surrender. They thought you was going to surrender your enlightenment. If they did something and gave an opportunity to somebody. And this is also representing some type of authority figure. They gave some abundance to, to have your ass stuck. So if whatever you was doing, it was kind of stuck and stagnant is because they paid big money, big abundance to have your ass stuck. But you still remain fearless because you were enlightened about it. See, you have a different understanding. You don't have the same understanding as these material ass people because that's all they fucking worry about is material ass shit. Your understanding is different. So you got the power to victory and the understanding. Channeling different thoughts here. And you dance through whatever this was on top of that. Whatever you have is eternally connected and they wanted it to end. They wanted you to surrender it. They was taking action with all types of ideas to do this to you. Overseas connections and shit. And they was using their wealth to do it. I'm telling you, all types of possibilities. Whoever you work for is involved as well. I'm talking about as far as if you have work at some type of job or some type of platform where they can try to have you stuck. 
and then these people celebrated this here trying to hold you back but they didn't you overcame these obstacles <laughs> you still close to success confirmation you overcame these obstacles you still close to success Somebody teamed up, but one of your family member could be involved. Somebody could have teamed up with a family member or something. Family, friend, teaming up against you. Very impulsive action. Very impulsive action. These people really thought they had some type of form of strong control. Not to the divine power. You still persevered. These people about to run into unexpected towers. Your family, your friends, whoever got involved, and these other motherfuckers. Because this is you. You still moving forward. You hold divine power. Your whole consciousness is above, so below, and you're fulfilling what you need to fulfill. These people thought you wouldn't fulfill it because you was here. Because you in the Five of Pentacles. It's my Job card. Giving Job energy. Did, did Job say, oh, I'm going to stop believing because I don't have anything. No. Everything was still fine. See, they wanted you to be worried, panicking, unhappy. But you have a higher consciousness. This is what I'm talking about. You have a higher consciousness. So your energy still remain. Your energy still remain. You're spiritual. And somebody's going to face a death or a loss. They wanted this to be you. But whoever was taking these risks against you, this is going to be you. See, they wanted you to die. And you know, it reminds me of that uh, DJ Khaled with that Drake. They wanted you to lie. They wanted you to cry. And they wanted you to die. But you said, ah, 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 ah. Stand alive. Stand alive. Stand alive. Because you're chosen, baby. Instead of dying, you had a spiritual rebirth. You're a badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. You're aligned. You got soul. Spiritual alignment, mind, body, soul, spiritual awakening, emotional awakening, blessed. And you stood guard. Even while all of this secret shit was happening, all these people wanted you to miss all these opportunities. They blocked you off and shit. <laughs> and you still stood ground. There's a couple that's going to be going to jail. That's what's going to be communicated to these motherfuckers. See, they was communicating wanting you to be in trap. But it's a it's a couple. And this could be like a power couple or something. That was trying to communicate that you was crazy too. No, you wasn't. These people was doing all of this secret shit. Confirmation. These people was doing all of this secret motherfucking shit. And they're going to be entrapped in this shit. These are unawakened, superficial motherfuckers that tried to outcast you. That's what, the, that's what they was communicating. Wanting to outcast you. But you're divinely protected. And you don't carry burdens on your own. The sun make your burden light. The divine was in between all that stress and burdens that they was trying to put on you. The instability that they was trying to cause. You still remain balanced though. You have the ability to juggle many thoughts. Material and spiritual. You still lay the foundation. Because you're gifted. By the divine. You still receive from the divine. Because you're a spiritual child. Page of cups. Spiritual baby. And you're going to get justice. You're going to get justice. Your justice is home, 
stability, solid foundation, you and your legacy, because that's what was destined for you. And these people was going against the shit, trying to fight it off so bad, but you the motherfucking star guided by the light. And so much competition and shit. But these people ain't putting all of that fight and all of that shit to have to have no relationship with the divine, but put all that fight and shit to block you off and shit. No. You're the water bearer. You hold sacred language. You have Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio. Aquarius. In your chart. Taurus. And you have Leo in your chart somewhere. One of them signs you have it in a healing placement. Yo, Chiron. These people wanted to defeat you. But you're a star and not in the sense of you're famous. You're literally a star. Listen to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Shining star. These people wanted you gone and at a loss. Commit suicide, pass away. I'm telling you, they was really taking this risk against you. And this was supposed to do it. But no, you have a higher consciousness. You don't think the way that they do. You stood in your strength. And now these people are facing crises. They sure is. And they losing. They losing what they was giving out to even do the shit to you in the first place. They really thought that they could be untouched doing this shit. Boy, they was celebrating holding you back. Look, toasting up and everything. <laughs> Hate ass people. <clears throat> but what? But that divine power caused the what? The tower. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> That divine power caused a what? A tower. Timber. <laughs> Still had a breakthrough. Still broke through. Because the divine holds the power. Not, not Lucy. Not old Lucy Lou. Who these people love to partner up with. Not old Lucy Lou, baby. Splitting the deck. Yahshua is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahshua is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? Hmm. I will sing praise to the name of Yahweh the Most High. See, this reminded me of that read that I just did about these famous people. So you could have had famous people. You could have had friends. You could have had family that was going up against you to block you off and stop you from doing what you were called to do. And you could be one of these. You could be... You could be one of these psychics that I've been talking about. And some of these past couple readings. So somebody didn't have famous people on their ass. Family. Friends. Lovers and some more shit. Which reminds me of that Psalms 91. When the divine said, and 10,000 shall fall out. You need 10,001. 10,001. And these people thought that it, because they had 
big abundance just like the last read I did that they was going to be able to do that I was right a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at that right hand that's why I had to stop because I had it mixed up with the ten and the one thousand but listen but it shall not come nigh thee it didn't touch you but it's touching them the word is alive I keep saying that and I don't know if people are hearing me but the word is alive. You see it come alive every time. Do not be afraid for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. So you have nothing to be afraid of. If you realize that all of these people, witches, famous people, family, friends, lovers, strangers, all these people been at you and in your energy. You have nothing to worry about. You have nothing to be afraid of because the divine ransomed you and called you by name. You are the divines. So if he calls you to do something, you can do it. And you don't got to worry. As you can see within this read. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Honor and majesty surround Yahshua. Strength and beauty fill his sanctuary. With your very own hands you form me. Now breathe your wisdom over me. Yahshua is gracious and full of compassion. Yahshua blesses his people with peace. How amazing are the deeds of Yahweh. Let all that I am praise Yahweh with my whole heart. I will praise his holy name. Happiness itself is a kind of gratitude. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So you ain't got nothing to worry about you under the divine. So... It don't matter who mad, who want to ultimately betray you, who wants you at a dead end, who want to separate you for what, from what, tower. That's all they going to get is the unexpected. Tower, tower, tower. Pull some manifestation messages. You have the key to success. Everything is happening for you. So say everything is happening for me. Abundance surrounds you in many forms. I am unique and only I can do what I do. It's in your DNA. Bottom of the deck, I love and respect money. So, you already know we got to pull some thank you messages from my thank you deck. And we going to wrap this read up. Listen to Kendrick Lamar, all right. Kendrick Lamar, all right. Mm. 
we just thank you for making me whole, Yahweh. Thank you for your sacrifices in Yahshua, Yahweh. Thank you for upgrading me, Yahweh. Thank you for your light, Yahweh. Thank you for love, unconditional, Yahweh. Thank you for your beauty. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for your protection, Yahweh. That's real big. It's all real big, but that's real big, considering what we talking about. Thank you for your word, Yahweh. Thank you for being a great husbandman, Yahweh. Thank you for my gifts, Yahweh. Thank you for an abundance of love, Yahweh. Thank you for freedom, Yahweh. Thank you for your friendship, Yahweh. Thank you for life and letting me be a part of your story, Yahweh. Thank you for loving me in spite of me, Yahweh. Thank you for everything, Yahweh. Thank you for being my father and mother. Thank you for igniting that flame and passion within me. And thank you for everything and being my all in all. So I hope you all got a message from this reader to be able to help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.